Cross-channel ferry passengers are facing a second day of frustration after French fishermen resumed a blockade of three ports. There are no ferry services currently operating to Calais, Boulogne or Dunkirk. Some passengers were able to travel overnight, but others remain stranded. P&O says the blockade's costing them about a million pounds a day in lost business. And the CFDT union has threatened to block Eurotunnel and Eurostar services tomorrow if the port blockade is still in place. Well, our correspondent John Brain is in Dover now. John. Emily, the Easter holidays should be one of the busiest periods for the port of Dover. But this lunchtime, operations here at a, are at a virtual standstill. And it's all because of a dispute on the other side of the channel. Another day of disruption at the port of Dover. Another day of frustration for businesses and holidaymakers alike. Operations here have been virtually paralysed since the French trawler men began their action. For ferry passengers, what should have been the start of an Easter break has turned into a waiting game. I have no idea when we're going to get out of Dover. We've been here since last night and it's not looking likely that we're going to get out of here any time today. We're on our way to France, making far Rouge. Um, it's very frustrating. We don't know exactly what time we're going to leave. And this is the reason for their misery. A blockade at Calais by French fishing boats. Similar action is underway at Boulogne and Dunkirk. The fishermen are angry at cuts in EU fishing quotas. They want their government to act. We have noticed that the quotas have mainly served to wipe out small professions, whether that's fishermen or producers of milk and meat. In Europe, quotas serve to concentrate goods towards the multinationals, which is a problem for us today. At Dover, the biggest ferry operator, P&O, is now considering seeking compensation. The company says this round of action is one of the worst it's known. This one feels nasty, it really does, because everyone's struggling at the moment in industry. I'm thinking about all the small businesses that are our, our, our customers, the small haulage companies, often small family-owned outfits. They can go to the wall, those small companies, very quickly in situations like this. So please, fishermen, make your point, but, but uh, you know, get back to work. Well, that was Brian Reese from P&O, and the advice to passengers is to check with your operator before coming and adding to the congestion here. But any resolution of the problem here depends on developments over in France. Emily. John, thanks. John Brain there in Dover. The Cabinet Secretary, Sir Gus.